Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you how I meal prep this meal right here. This is a sweet potato, quinoa, and black bean patty. And I've also added on some rice and peas and sauerkraut in the center. Um, but I'm going to show you how I made this patty. I make everything up as I go and I have a kind of a rough idea of what I'm trying to achieve. But yeah, this is usually how meal prep is for me. So thought I'd take you along this time. At the end, I'll also be showing you the macros of this meal. I am trying a new thing now. I'm not eating so much raw food. I'm trying to really eat in a way that furthers my specific fitness goals. So I'm trying to like pay attention to macros for really the first time in my life. Just see how it goes for me. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy. And let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my little kitchen. I was kind of trying to get like mise en place together, but then I realized that probably best for like a meal prep video to really start from the beginning. I'm sure you guys uh, what's going to be going through my head. The first thing I'm going to do is get some rice going in the Instant Pot. I'm also going to start some quinoa. And then to the quinoa, I'm adding in this better than bouillon, this is the roasted garlic one. Alright, so into this pan, I'm going to put on about medium heat. Adding in half of a chopped onion. And some garlic. And that's my oven preheated to 400 now, so it's going to be ready to go for when we're putting the actual patties into the oven. Put another pot over here. The quinoa is boiling. Take that to low. Cover it, and then 15 minutes. As for here, and out of a water. All right, these are all chopped and clean. And I also have some water boiling in the kettle right now. I'm gonna let those boil. These are about done, and the rice just finished. Dashes, a liquid smoke, same for tamari, a good squirt of Dijon mustard. Then I'm just kind of freestyling it. The vegan chicken less seasoning salt from Peter Joe's. It's like um, ramen noodle flavoring. <laughs> Some paprika, which I love to pair with the liquid smoke. This uh, fajita seasoning and the umami mushroom blend. I'm adding in two tablespoons of tomato paste and a tablespoon of ground flaxseed. Quinoa fluffed for five more minutes. And hopefully by that time, the sweet potatoes will be done boiling as well. And then for over here again, I'm going to go ahead and drain and rinse this can of black beans. This was a half of a cup of dry quinoa, and I need a fourth of a cup of dry quinoa for my recipe, or what I at least jotted down erratically and thought might work for this, so I'm going to use about half. They are tender enough that I can cut them in half with the spoon. And I'm just gonna measure out 300 grams. I have a food scale right here that you can't see. <laughs> so 
So in the food processor, it's them up to kind of this consistency, so you can still see the things in there, and then there's some quinoa around the edges, and that's perfectly fine. Um, this is still pretty warm, so I'm gonna give it a second to calm down before I start shaping the patty. So in times that I've tried making something like this in the past, I have added oats or something similar to the batter, and it's made it way too dry, and then they're just like, they feel like dehydrated coming out of the oven. Um, they definitely need a lot of ketchup or something to make them palatable. So this mixture is pretty wet and I'm hoping that will be okay. I mean I had quinoa in there instead of oats this time. And I've never used tomato paste making uh, burgers as well. It's like always in the recipes but I never have any. So I try that out this time. Let's see. I'm just going to use this uh, fourth cup measuring cup to uh, create the burger. See if I can slap down. Ha! Yeah. Squish. So that pretty perfectly made 12 patties and I'm going to put these in the oven and I'll let you know what the final cooking time ends up being. for 40 minutes. They're all one piece. They're not stuck. They're perfectly cooked and still kind of um, squishy, not like hockey pucks or anything. Pretty much what I'd hoped for. In that 40 minutes would have been perfect if you had other recipes that you wanted to meal prep with this, like extra side dishes or um, other meals. I'm only meal prepping for this one meal of the day. This is like my lunch basically. So I'm going to store all of these in a container and put it in the freezer and then throughout the week I'm gonna take two of these patties out per meal cook them probably on um, a pan no oil just heating them up a cup of rice and half of a cup of frozen peas so that's why I didn't prep any sort of veggies to go with it because they're already prepped or just frozen in a bag and I'm gonna microwave them but let me show you what I'm gonna make with it all dressed up alrighty here we go definitely made prettier plates than this but I'm not mad at it. I could if I really wanted to put the patties and the rice and the uh, peas all in one of those meal prep containers and then just microwave it every day, but I do like being able to slightly assemble my food every time I eat it. Cooking is fun for me, um, but I'm not going to make these patties from scratch like I did today every single day. Um, I also like the idea of just taking like a Dr. Prager's patty out of the freezer and cooking that and eating it every day for lunch but those um, have oil in them and they're very expensive and these were pretty cheap to make. I will be adding on the screen here the macros of this meal. Patty is not everything together but yeah that's that. Of course we'll give it a little taste test. It's good. The outside is like crispy and the inside is very soft. Yeah, it's good. Tastes like sweet potatoes and beans and quinoa. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a comment and a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.